Hey, welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording. Today we got a video about guitars, which we haven't done in a while. Okay, so we're back here. We have our Fender Telecaster here with the humbucker in it. Uh, kind of our trusty go-to here. But you can see down in the corner over here, you can see there's a Fender amplifier. And today's video is kind of about small amplifiers. We have gotten rid of all of our big amps. Anything that's, you know, 12 inch and up, full stacks. Those have all kind of gone away because we have found, uh, as time has gone on here, our tones, our best tones have come from small amps, which is crazy to think. You think you'd get better tones through a bigger speaker, bigger amplifier, more wattage, all that fun stuff. But we haven't, so like we have a little frontman that sits up front, and we might do a video on it here soon. Um, it sits back by the drum kit here, but it's uh, I think it's like an eight inch cone, and that thing at the right sweet spot sounds fantastic, and it's solid state. Now the video that we are doing today is actually going to be on our Super Champ. Uh, everybody knows the Fender Champ; it's been around for many decades. It was like a five watt amp, I believe. Uh, this is kind of an upgraded version of the Champ. So it's a Super Champ. Uh, so it's got two channels, which is very handy on it. It's got, uh, I'll do a kind of close up here, but it's got two channels. Like I said, it's got channel one, which is just input. That's it. There's nothing fancy. You do get the EQ on both channels. So there's a, there's a, uh, a treble and a, basically base that's it and then some effects and stuff but um but basically channel one you get the effects which are digital which do sound pretty good and then you've got the eq and input volume now it, channel one is all tube it's got a 12ax7 in it which is just a you know just a little tube um it's got one 12ax7 but it does have for the power section I believe two uh, 6L6s. So it's got two power tubes for the power section, which is nice. So you get three tubes total in the amplifier. Um, and it does get quite warm. Like you can definitely hear those uh, or feel those tubes warm up when you go to turn the off switch, which is on the back of the cabinet. Um, kind of a design thing, I would say, but definitely would want that on the front but it's fine on the back as long as you kind of know where you're touching you don't want to touch those tubes when they get hot um but it sounds great so um and then it's got channel two uh channel two on it is kind of your more digital side it has like a modeler type thing built into it which i'm gonna say there's 11 presets oh look Sorry, there's 16 presets. Uh, so there's 16 presets on it uh, of various amplifiers from blackface to high gain stuff to, you know, kind of the British sounding amps. Um, not all of them sound good. I can tell you that for sure. Not all of them sound good as we went through them. And we'll go through some of them here. Not all 16 of them. That's going to be a different video. But it is, uh, it's interesting to hear all the different settings. Uh, so speaking of hearing it, here's kind of what the amp sounds like just with channel one. It's not pushed very hard. I think it's on four. We kind of found that three and four was the best, um, kind of the, the, the best spot for it, the sweet spot, so to speak. So here's how it kind of sounds. So as you can tell, it sounds very Fender-like. It's got it's got actually some nice warm tonality to it, considering this is a Tele. Um, that kind of has to come with the EQ that comes on it. But it does, um, you can push it, but when you push it, it makes that speaker move. Now, to uh, kind of note here, we have switched the speaker out in this. It came with uh, just the factory Fender one, which did sound pretty decent. Um, in the store, we're like, yeah, it sounds usable. Sounds good. 
Um, however, we got it back here, and I was like, man, it just doesn't sound that good. So we went and we bought us a another speaker, a Jensen actually, and just uh, so we know speaker sizes here, this amplifier has a 10 inch cone. It's a 10 inch speaker, so um, not a lot of room uh, for volume per se. Uh, breakup happens a lot sooner with smaller speakers, which can be handy, um, or it can be detrimental depending on your speaker type. But we put a Jensen, and I. If I can remember what it is, I'll put it in the notes. Um, but we just bought a Jensen 10 inch speaker, put it in there and it drastically changed, which there's a lot of videos out there saying, if you want to change your, your amplifier sound, don't change the tubes, change the speaker. Um, I think there's one over on Spectre Digital's website, maybe YouTube channel. Anyways, uh, we changed the speaker. It sounds a lot better. Now, um, would I go gigging with this amplifier? Probably not. Um, but it, it is handy in the studio. It sounds great in here. Now let's get over to channel two. Now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna press a button. It does have a foot switch on the back of it where I can switch channels. I just haven't hooked it up yet. It didn't come with one. I just happened to have one line in the studio here that worked with it. Um, but it does have a second channel. So let's hear the second channel. So I have the second channel set. To gain nine um, our volumes about the same but I've used uh, I kind of found that number seven right now on its little selector for amplifier voicings is what I like the best so here's how it kind of sounds So that's a little AC30-ish. Um, that's kind of what I have it set to since it's a Fender amp. I kind of wanted to have some different tonality. Um, very, very uh, AC30-ish. Now, I don't have the manual for this one because we bought this used. Um, but that's kind of the vibes I get from it. I've owned several Vox amplifiers. That's kind of the Vox-ish British sound that you would get out of it. Um, I do recommend this amp. It's a handy little amp. It's not very heavy. It's got the vintage look. It's the Super Champ X2. Um, I bought it super cheap, like 250 I think. No, I paid less. Actually, I take that back. With the new speaker cone, we paid about $250 uh, for this U.S. Uh, US in currency. So anyways, um, it does have a line out, and I do want to do a video where we test the line out versus the actual mic we have it mic'd up with uh, a 414 clone uh, from warm audio so it does we are cheating a little bit into our SSL preamps but uh, for the money you almost can't beat this amp I, I haven't found I've tried the different uh, line 6 stuff the, the what is it uh, the katana by boss I've tried all these other amps that kind of do something similar to this but they all just sounded too digital to my ear um, not that they're bad amps or anything like they're probably great practice amps but for recording when I went to go record them they just didn't sound the same now this amp this is the first time we actually recorded this amp so I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna work but uh, in the room here it sounds fantastic plus you got the tube power section and I do want to dig into how that works with the digital side of things um, it does have some effects on it which you can dial in it's got uh, all sorts of them. I can't even read them from here because the print's only tiny, tiny on it. But it's got a lot of different effects from chorus to reverb, some delay, and you can kind of mix them in a little bit. I think right now I'm using the mix of reverb and delay. You hear it a little bit. There's a little bit of delay there as I slap the strings. But that's kind of this amp in a nutshell. Uh, I've actually absolutely have fallen in love with this little amp i didn't think i would want one i've had bigger amps but if you're in a space that you need the extra room and would rather have the extra room uh we kind of need it kind of don't but it's kind of nice to be able to like grab my guitar grab the amp go play a show you know mic it up it's going to be loud enough for uh you know like on stage and if you're on stage using in-ears you definitely still be able to hear it 
through your in-ears. But this amp is just kind of a little like sleeper amp is kind of what it's been for us. Uh, it's got a lot of different functionalities to it. Um, we're going to try writing some music just using this amplifier and kind of see where we end. But you've got the nice clean Fender tones that um, you can then turn on the overdrive, you know, channel two side of it and get that that kind of overdrive that sounds super good. Uh, but that's kind of today's video. Uh, like I said, we love this amplifier. Uh, if I could find a head version, I'd like to try that out. Um, oh, one thing I did forget about this amp is you can plug it in via USB and kind of play with the amplifier settings side of it where you've got the different voicings. Um, I think Fender, however, has discontinued it. So anyways, not really a big, big breaker for this amplifier. Um, plug some pedals into it. It takes pedals really well, uh, especially once you change out the speaker. And I do recommend if you buy this particular amp, the X2, uh, go buy you like a Weber or a um, Jensen. Jensen I, I've liked so far in this cabinet. Um, so yeah, get you a, a, a really nice speaker cone, something nicer than what comes with it. Not that what comes with it is bad, but it does drastically make this little amp like a sleeper cell type type thing. So uh, thanks for watching. That's kind of all we got for today. Uh, if you've liked this video, hit the like button. If you like our channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we love everybody who has done that so far. And you know what? We'll see what happens. Uh, but till next time, go make some music.